Well, I'm Bill Kalush. I've been involved with magic for nearly my entire life, which of course is almost everybody's story. And I started this library about 10 years ago. And what I wanted was a place where anybody could come and do research and uh, have access to the real deep materials in the magic world, including building uh, what I think is the largest magic database in the world of over a million and a half pages of uh, scanned magic material. Well, we scan the books. Uh, or the magazines, or the letters, or whatever material that we're interested in putting in it. Uh, it's OCR'd, and then it's fed into our, uh, our system, which is a proprietary uh, software system. You can type in a keyword, and it will tell you every document that has that keyword and on what page, and you click the link, and uh, the page comes up. It's not the biggest library in the world, but it's, it's, it's probably the biggest one where anybody even people we don't know can make an appointment and come and do research. A good magician always incorporates the audience and creates the feeling of a one-of-a-kind performance each and every time they perform. Considering what your audience thinks is a critical, to me, it's a critical part of being a great magician. I kind of think of magic as a gigantic fruit tree, maybe a big apple tree, with lots of different branches. But in this case, every single branch would have a different kind of fruit or a different kind of apple on it. We're not all interested in all aspects of magic. You might be interested in gospel magic, and I might not be, but we're still both interested in magic. I might be interested in, in very early magic books and, that have um, mathematical magic effects buried away and hidden where somebody else would have no interest in that. All of these branches are what create our, our intensely diversified community. History is very important to the performance of magic because it allows us to, to really tie in different levels, different types of, of attitudes that are, are very consistent across the, the history of humanity. Uh, I got interested in magic history by, for, for one, I was interested in magic as a child and I liked Doug Henning, I thought he was great. And then one day I was watching a Doug Henning special and I saw this long-haired magician with a big beard come out and do the most magnificent sleight of hand I'd ever seen in my life. His name was Ricky Jay and it transformed my interest from from interested in boxes and illusions to, wow, really sleight of hand. Years later, never ever expect any expectation whatsoever that I'd meet him, I happened to be, meet and become quite friendly with Ricky and I asked him some questions about history. And he very honestly said, well, those are great questions, but we don't really have answers. Those, those aren't questions other people have asked and written about, so you'll have to do that research yourself. And it kind of set me on this trajectory of doing research. And now I can see that the, the research that you do directly relates to creating a magical experience for performance, as well as to just writing about the history of it, where somebody else may take that and use it to, to create more magic.